Hey guys, so in this video today I am filming a kind of glittery eyeshadow look for you guys. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, so I'll just like put the name like down on the bottom. Um, but this is my first time using glitter and so I think it came out pretty good. Oops, that was my phone. Um, I like the color combination a lot. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep watching. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera already and I went ahead and set my eyes with my concealer from Maybelline. And so I'm just going in with my Morphe E14 and using the banana shade from the 35O palette from Morphe and packing that on there. Now I'm taking this Morphe M433 brush and using the orange shade from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm applying this in my crease area using windshield wiper motions. And now going back in with that same palette, I'm using the Morphe M507 brush and I'm using that bright orangey red shade from the palette and I'm kind of placing this in my crease area as well and focusing lower. Using the same brush we're just going to go ahead and go into the Morphe 350 palette using that red shade and we're going to put this in our crease and also bring it down to the inner and outer cor corners of our eye. So now taking that light orange shade from the Morphe 350 palette we're going to go in using the Morphe M433 brush and just brush this on the upper part of our crease area to kind of blend everything out. Okay, so I went in with the Morphe M507 brush again and used that red shade and kind of just continued to apply the red color on my crease and inner and outer corner. And then taking the same brush, I went in with this maroon kind of shade and I applied this in the same areas because I really wanted to darken this area up. Now going in with the fluffy brush from Morphe, the M433 brush, we're taking that yellow shade from the 35B palette and applying that everywhere and just kind of blending everything out. Taking this flathead paintbrush and a concealer, I just kind of place this on the center of my lid. I just wanted to brighten this area up for when we put the glitter on. And now taking this pink and orange shade from the Morphe 35B palette. I used the M507 brush and I just applied this on top of all of that and kind of blended it into the rest of the colors. Now you're going to go ahead and take the NYX glitter glue primer and you're going to apply this where the concealer is placed. And yeah, then you're going to go ahead and apply the golden glitter from NYX on top. And then after I got done with the glitter, I went ahead and added liner and my lashes and mascara off camera. I just did a thin little line of liner though because I didn't want a wing to overpower all the glitter because I don't have a lot of lid space. Okay, now that I've done my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and prime my face. Oh my god, my primer's not coming out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glue in the shade 205 with my Real Techniques sponge. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and on my T-zone. And take this Becca, this mini size Becca liquid highlighter in the shade Moonstone. I apply this on the top of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques contour brush, and it's from that orange kit. I never know exactly what it's called, but yeah, and like all the writing's like rubbed off on my brush. It's really old now. So I'm gonna take this and uh, actually, I'm going to take the darkest shade in my little contour palette from e.l.f. And then bring it down my nose area. Now, I'm going to bake with my RCMA powder and... I'm going to apply this using my Real Techniques sponge. Now that 
to sit for like about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and like dust it off a little bit. My Real Techniques buffing brush and buff out all of this powder. I don't even know what bronzer this is. I haven't used it in so long because it's kind of dark for me and I kind of want to be a little bit more bronzed. And so this is the Sun Shimmer Maxi Bronzer from Rimmel in the shade Sunstar. And so it's like a huge, like, do you see like my face in the bronzer? It's huge. And uh, it's really good bronzer. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take my contour brush and then I'm gonna bronze the face a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Milani blush and the shade Red Vino or Vino. Vino. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm just going to stipple this on the apples of my cheeks. And one of the things that I've been waiting for, I picked up this NYX, I picked up this NYX um, Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder and I have never heard anything about these, I just saw these in Ulta. It's in the shade Snow Rose and this is such a beautiful shade of it says illuminator, so I'm assuming it's supposed to, like it, it's a highlighter, but it's like this iridescent color, and so it looks white in the pan. But depending on where you are in the lighting, it comes off sometimes almost like a pink color. And so I think this is just a really beautiful shade. So I'm just applying this um, where we had originally laid down all of the Becca liquid highlighter with my. Morphe M310 fan brush. Yes, I have texture, but I still use highlighter because, you know, it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this Wet n Wild like, sh eyeshadow brush with this facial spray. I don't even know how to really pronounce it, so I'm just not gonna botch the name. Add this highlighter on my T-zone kind of area. So like my cupid's bone, to my nose, all that good stuff. But this just kind of intensifies the highlight. For these areas, I really want it to be like popping. Go ahead and add my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir to my lips. And I'm gonna line my lips with the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. The Jordana Liner and Poulash Plum. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go out with my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and the shade Exotic. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and zoom back in and finish off the lower end of our eyes. Going in with the Morphe M507 brush, I took that red shade from the Morphe 350 palette again and I swiped this underneath my eyes. Originally, I was trying to avoid the center of my eye, but I ended up covering it anyways with this shade from the palette using an angled brush from this Morphe set that doesn't have a name. And then after that, I ended up going on top of it all with the glitter glue and the glitter again. Honestly, I ended up adding this dark brown shade underneath my eyes prior to this too, but I didn't really like how the dark brown and the glitter sat together, so I wouldn't add the dark brown. And yeah, after that I just added mascara, and that's how it should look. Well, yeah, this is how you get all of Ovos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. This was my first time, you know, dabbling in with glitter, and so I thought it was a pretty neat thing. It's really easy to use. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and so I'm really happy about that. Um, I think for the most part, I like this look. There are a couple things that I want to, like, tweak, but, you know, it happens. And so... Yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me today, and I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyways, if you guys have any, like, comments or questions or video ideas that you guys want to see from me, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section, and, you know, subscribe to my channel so you can know whenever I upload. And, yeah, that is it for this look today. Um, I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.